So I'm going to replace this flexible P-trap. I post a video about doing that pop-up assembly and a ton of people were really getting on me about having that flexible P-trap there. Now, like I said in the other video, I did not install this. It was there when I bought the house about 12 years ago and it's not been an issue for the entire 12 years. So as silly as it looks, as unprofessional or handyman as it looks, it does work. Uh, but because so many people asked for it, and I figure it's pretty cheap to replace and easy to do, that I figured I would just go ahead and do it. So that's the P-trap I bought, and I had to buy some extra of the uh, gaskets that go in between the nuts and everything uh, because I needed some extra for the top. And so they come in different sizes. Uh, for most bathroom sinks, you're going to have an inch and a quarter that you're working with, with the, the tubular piping, slip joint piping there. And coming out of the wall, it's an inch and a half fitting. So they actually make one of these washers just for that, to go from an inch and a half to the inch and a quarter tubing. So make sure you use the right one in the right place. And then I get this... Uh, lined up here and then I quickly realized I'm going to need an extension. I didn't have an extension with me. Uh, so I ran to the store and I bought an extension. So then you're going to have to uh, mark it and cut it. So I put, make sure you always put the nut on first and then the washer. So I kind of line things up, eyeball it and mark it. I hold my thumb there and then I realize, boy, I really messed up the mark. You know, I'm human, make mistakes too. So I re-mark it, measure it up, and my new mark is in the right spot. So the easiest way to cut this is with one of these rigid cutters. It makes a perfect cut. It you know flares the cut so that there's no uh, you know edges hanging out or anything. Um, that's the easiest way to cut it. But you can cut it with literally anything, even a sharp utility knife if you absolutely have to. Although that's probably the most dangerous way to do it. But you can cut it with just a hand saw or a sawzall or, or just about anything. So and then you just simply slide everything on and you're just going to tighten it all up. Now this one I'm tightening right now there in the actual P-trap bend there. That's the most important to make sure it lines up straight and, and true and you get it tight. So I always tighten that one down completely first. And then I work on the other ones uh, and, and everything seems to line up good for me that way. And then I'm going to do a water test here, make sure there's no leaks. Well, thanks for encouraging me to do this job. Uh, and I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Please like the video. Thank you. Have a good day.